Alright, so what we're going to do first, we're just going to work, come here, come here, posture. So, you're still going to have your T right there, okay? What you're going to do is, you're going to grab right here. Okay, let's actually, what we're going to do is we're going to top hand right here, okay? And you're going to go bottom hand right there, so now you're open, okay? So you're going to feel the pull on your booty and the pull at your upper back right there. So it's going to be along your spine right there, okay? So what I want you to do first is all I want you to do is you're going to stand up tall, and you're going to really work hip hinge right there. Okay, just one leg. Hip hinge right there. Okay, stand tall. Hip hinge to one leg. Okay, then after you're going to do five of those, then you're just going to go five hip hinges. And you're going to keep that bar directly on your spine. Okay, so what we don't want to do is round it off. Now look where that bar has gone off my booty right there you yeah. see so you want to hold it right there you're gonna hip hinge all the way down okay so what we're looking for is this hip when we go to get ready to swing see that load see that hip hinge so I'm gonna be right here look I want you to stand up tall and I want you to feel that hip hinge just like when we're deadlift hip ex flex hip hinge now we're gonna go up okay but your posture and your spine are gonna stay the exact same we don't want to round it out and we want to gather in that hip all right so go ahead and put it on the back there you go fill it to where it's right come here just a little bit come here just a little bit on that spine okay so remember we're always gonna look there at that picture okay on your spine if you can kind of hold on the outside can you grab on the outside right there so now see how you feel it right there okay so you don't want it to come off so stand up tall just get right here first like stand up feet shoulder width apart leave it there pressure on that booty stand up tall and then what you're gonna do is you're gonna hip hinge down and keep it there hip hinge balance poke your hips out and you lean over. So look right here. Hip hinge. Look, chest is good posture. Hip is going out. So you'll feel it once you get it. Poke your hip out like you're deadlifting. Try to balance on that right leg though. Feel it on there. As you lift up, I want you to bend. Lift up and deadlift. Think deadlift. Give me two more and then you're going to go back. Oh wait, turn your... There you go. Get your hip. I, like I feel like this is moving and your hip's not hinging. So I feel like you're doing this. You're... I mean, you're, you're poking your, look, I'm poking my butt out. I'm not moving this right here. Okay. You got to feel it. I mean, I want you to feel the hip and you go. Okay. So you're kind of just, I want you to feel that turn, feel it go down. Just stand there and I want you to get hip hinge without lifting your leg. Butt out. Keep it on there. Try to go a little bit further. Hip, hip, so your hip's going to move it. So you need to get flexible. Hip, to see if that's a little bit more right there and less here. I need more here and less here. More in your hips. Go out with your hip. I'll get right next to you. Kind of look at me. Look at me right here. Ready? So stop right there. Like when I'm in this position right here, these are fire. Do you feel that? If you don't feel it, you do feel it right there, then you know that you're right. So what does that tell you when you're in your swing? That's going to fire. If you don't feel that in your swing, then we're not generating that power. So I want you to get 
to where I want you to go, go, go. Have I broke posture? Until you can feel that fire. Give me five of those. Feel that fire. Hips go out. Hips. There you go. Good. Is that good? Go slow and feel. Hip out. There you go. Good. So see how you kind of have an arch back? That's good. That's much better. You're arching your back. You're creating good posture. Your hips are going out. That looks good. Good. Two more. That looks really good. One more. Hip. All right. Rest a little bit, and now you're going to go back to the one leg. I want you to try to do the same thing. Feel, so now you're only going to feel it in that hamstring right there. There you go. Push that booty. Hip, there you go. Stop. So this is hip pain right there. You see that? That's what we want. That's good. Arch that back. Hinge that hip. Arch that back. Hinge that hip. Good. Good. Two more. Good. One more and then we're going to go back to two feet. We're going to go two more sets of each. Good. Alright, let's go two feet. Good. Hey, we'll bring it. Yeah, you're good. You're good. Hey, so you're feeling it in your core, right? So when I do this, I'm feeling it in my core, and you're going to feel it all running down that spine, too. So here, here, and here are fire. All right? Take your butt out. Good. Go to where you feel those, those hamstrings fire. That, those glutes are going to be fired too. So here and then that booty, that's going to be fired too. All going to generate some power. Hip, good. I want you to feel that. That's what I want you to feel before you go to swing. Arch that back. Arch it. Keep good posture. Good. Right there. Good. One more. Good. Now, last one, go back to the single leg. Now, we're gonna start in torque, okay? So what I want you to do is I want you to go in torque and I want you to feel that hip hinge right there. So when I do this position right here, what's fire, I mean like my hamstrings are on fire right now. Okay, like on fire. So when you go, I want you to hold, so I want you to start this way, okay, and I want you to stand straight up, and I want your bat right here on your shoulder, and I want you to turn slow, and I want you to feel that hip hinge right there, feel it, and then right when you get ready to explode and you hold one, two, three, you are going to extend that hip boom right there okay so that flexion of that hip that hip hinge is going to allow boom you to now extend it but i'm still going to stay in good posture okay so i'm right here one two three four one two three extend got it count you want me to count i'll count yeah Just go all the way yeah, scoot back that way just a little bit. There you go. Alright. So we stand straight up tall. There you go. Now ready? One, two, three, four. Okay, do you feel it? Okay. You feel it? Right there? Good. So we're in our hip. Good. Ready? Hold one, two, three, extend. Good. Okay. So what I want. What I want you to look at, that was great hip hinge. Great, great, great. But what I want you to look at when I'm in a hip hinge, what I want you to tell yourself, you had a great scat pull, perfect. I want you to tell yourself, I want that hip, I want you to hold your hands one second. So when you're right here in this hip hinge, I want you to slightly extend that hip 
and then I want you to snap that barrel. So a while ago you went like this, your hip hinged and you went at the same time. I want it to be slightly boom, boom, right there, okay? So when you go, I want it to be slightly extend the hip and then snap the hand, the barrel. Hip go. There you go. Better. Snap that hip. So the whole purpose when you're in that hip hinge is to feel the fire. Hips gonna snap, hips gonna release just like you're pulling deadlift. We're gonna hip and my hands are gonna hold one second, then I'm gonna let it go. There you go, ready? One, two, three. Four, good. One, two, three, fire. There you go, good. Snap, snap, snap. Ready, go. Trying to get you a little internal clock. Feel it till it burns. Hip slightly. One, two, three. There you go. that hip, snap that hip. I know you can see me. <laughs> One, two, three, feel it in that hip, hold. One, two, three. Snap that hip though. So you're there, but when I'm looking on this back side, if you're looking at me right here, okay, so if I'm right here, mm -hmm. look, it's got to be, boom, right there. You're kind of doing this. So you're kind of rotating, and then you're trying to snap at the end. It's going to be snap, boom. So it's going to be right here. Snap, boom. So it's going to feel snap, boom, fire that top half. But it's going to be a snap. Ready? Turn. Feel that hip. Poke that booty out. There you go. And fire. Oh, sorry. Hold on, don't move. Okay, I want a little bit better posture in that upper half. So, like, remember how we're gonna poke those out a little bit right there? We're gonna poke. Okay. <laughs> Yo, you don't want to be hunched over right here. That, when we do deadlift, we don't do that. When we do cleans, we won't do that. Everything's here. Everything's good posture. Shoulders. Press them back, okay? Feel that even when you go around. Go slow, maintain that posture. Squeeze, squeeze those shoulders, squeeze them. There you go, right there, right there. That's much better posture. So when you're looking, do not hit me. You got that right there, good posture. We got that line. You should feel it everywhere. Your back should be burning, your butt should be burning, and your hammy should be burning. There you go. Snap that hip. That time you kind of pulled off of it just a little bit, so you hit the outside of it. So when you went to go, you pulled off. Remember, everything wants to stay on that rear leg. So it's gonna snap right there. So you see my shoulders are gonna stay over the plate. So your shoulders, when you finish, like your, your shoulders are going to stay in the same spot. So think chest is going to stay right there over the plate the whole entire time. You don't want your ch chest to come off the plate. Give me three more. Good. Chest stays over the plate the whole swing. Whole swing, chest over. There you go. You're jamming yourself just a little bit. There you go. Two more. There, posh. there you go. That's a good arch in that back. Good. 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 That's how I want you to feel when we go to swing. Good. 
That was a good one. One more. Gotcha. We go. What I want you to do is you're going to start up right here. Okay? So you're going to start up. Okay? And what I want you to do is I want you to go to your hip hinge right there. So all my weight is on this leg. Okay? I'm in that hip arch right here. Okay? Good posture. Feel it in my back. Feel it in my glute. Feel it in my hammies. And then what you're going to do is you're going to fire out to a separation. So when you go right here, still, I want all your weight on the back side, okay? I want your heel close to the ground. I want your front foot open, and I want your scat pulled back right here, okay? So this is what I want. I don't want your hands to have moved at all. So I want you to go slow. So we're going to start kind of with my feet a little bit wider than shoulder width apart. I'm going to be up tall. I'm gonna gather to my hip hinge right here. So I have this, this right here, right? Back, glute, ham. I'm gonna go out. Front foot's gonna be open, heel, heel. And I'm stretched back. And then I'm gonna fire through. Okay? Got it? All right. So, 10 of these. So I would start probably about right there. There you go. Don't jam yourself. Two back a little bit. There you go. Okay. So, the, yep, there you go. A little bit more of the shoulder width. Okay. Get to hip hinge. Good. Good. Oh, uh, 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 there you go. Heel to heel. Good. Right there. Chest is over. So when we go, front foot's slightly open, good. Doesn't have to be too big of a stride, okay? Good, good. You still wanna make sure that that's hip hinge right there, that's good. All right, ready? Now from this position, fire. Good. Good. One right there. Get too wide still. Think slow, feel the hip hinge, a little bit shoulder width. There you go. Dad. in. Good. Go out. Open. There you go, good. A little bit too wide, scoot in just a little bit. There you go, right there, right there. Heel to heel, good. When I say heel to heel, heel, heel. Good. Good hip hinge right there, good scat pull. And fire. Good. Oh. That's all right. It's your hands are pulling. Don't worry about it. Your lower half looks good. Your hands are just pulling it through. Scoot up a little bit if you think you need to scoot up. You'll be able to, maybe that won't. That'll, that'll help you not pull your hands a little bit. All right, here we go. Get in all low, good. Go out to separation. Good. And fire. Good. Think hips slightly. Fire. And and on this position, when you get to that front foot open and my heel is down, your hips are already. Because if my front foot's open, right, that gives me the separation right there. So now at that point, you don't have to worry about any. You're separated. Now all you have to worry about is snap that barrel and get through. Yeah. Right?
scoot up back just a little bit. There you go, right there. Load, a simple load into that hip out. Good. Open that front foot a little bit more. There you go. Good. And snap. Good. Good. Just feel the load. Good. Out. Good. Still want hip hinge. You're good. Right there. You're good about in the middle. Good. And fire. Good. That was a uh, good speech. Feel the hip. Feel that hip hinge. Open that front foot. Leave those hands back. Still feel the hip hinge. There you go. Right there. And go. Good. The hardest part is when you get to that separation. You still got to maintain that posture and still maintain that hip hinge. Give me three more. Hip hinge. Stay chest over, hip hinge. A little bit more chest over, hip hinge. Yes, see the difference? That's the difference. So that, yes, that you should, that's, that's that hip hinge. Good. Get there and fire. Good. Two more. Keep the hip hinge. Keep the hip hinge. Yes, right there. Front foot open. And fire. Good. That was a good one. One more. Keep that hip hinge. Even when you go out. Keep it. Good. And fire. Good. Hot. So what's the main focus here? Yep, just really focus on the hip hinge part. Okay, and when your front foot kind of lands, so when you go to load, load up and open. It doesn't have to be a big load. As long as your foot can kind of come up, and you don't even have to come in. Just kind of raise it and then boom, put it back down. Okay, I don't want you to get too much. Just kind of raise slightly to hip hinge and then put it back down. Yes, so remember, as you raise it, you're feeling that hip hinge. Raise, boom, down. Timing might be off a little bit. Don't swing it the first one, just feel the timing. Scoot back just a little bit. Don't swing at it, just feel the timing. You scoot back too, you see? No, 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 that way, like even with her. There you go. So you might have been a little late on that one. Dude, don't swing at it again. Up. There you go. Remember, your hands do not release until your front heel hits the ground. Okay? Give yourself, I mean, you can get right here and get a little, it can go slow. Don't let it come, I mean, I'm talking like that much off. And open it. Yes. Open it. Okay? That's the best you got right there. Right there. So you want to open And remember, don't let your hands go forward until that front heel hits that ground. Timing might be off a little bit, but we'll get it. Hip hinge. Sorry. That's not me. Hip hinge. Famous last words. Hip. Hip. Ooh, that's all right. Feel that hip. Choke up a little bit on that back. There you go. I want to see your hip hinge. Hip. There you go. All right, grab the light one. Get that hip in. It's all right. You got to get timing. All I want you to, I don't care if you swing and miss. I don't care if, you know, you don't hit good right now. I care about the hip hinge. Okay, so I'm going to feel the hip. I want to feel the hip and I want to feel the hip the whole way until you extend it. Okay, don't lose it. All right, we got five of these. Hip, hip hinge. 
Hip hinge. Get it. Hip. There you go. Let me see that hip hinge. Hip. There you go. Two more. Let me see that hip. Stay there. There you go. Good. One more. Stay in that hip hinge. Stay there. Stay there. There you go. Good. Heavy back. Here, hold it for you. All you're thinking is chest over the whole way through. Hip hinge, hip hinge, hip hinge. Just like you're deadlifting. Yes, just like that. Good. Hey, do that again. Do that one more time. Good hip. Okay, a little bit more in that back hip when you go. Just a little, yeah, there you go, just a little bit. There you go, right there. Feel it. All right, here you go. We got three of them. There you go, yes, that one was perfect. Hip. Feel that hip. Feel that hip. Stay right there. Feel, there you go, one more. Feel that hip. Feel that hip. Stay there. A little late on that one. Grab your lap back. Feel the hip, feel the back. Feel the hip, feel the back. There you go, feel that hip, feel that back. Stay there, there you go. Stay there, stay there. There you go, stay there, good. Yeah, right behind us when you're hitting the knees. Don't miss. Gonna be here like this.
is what you look like. What do, what do you see is wrong with that? Yeah. Okay, you gotta think. That's why deadlifts for you are so important. Or even like when we're doing those weights in there, you wanna get hip hinge right there. Like you've got to feel it in that back. You want to arch that back the whole way through. Arch your back. I think your hip might be getting to a hinge, but your posture is not. Like your posture is rounded. You gotta maintain that good posture. Ah, you're moving your hands forward. Come on, feel the snap. You gotta get the yes, yes. Better. Feel it snap. Nah, don't go under it. There you go. Feel it snap. Nah. So look at the difference. Go stand over there. So you got two different two swings right here. So you get right here, and then this is what you do. So what happened on that one? Yeah, you push it through. You gotta get here and just get right there. Look, you've gotta learn how just to drop that hand right there into that slot. You're you're trying to muscle it through, and now you're gonna lose your power. You just gotta let it drop right there. Let it drop. Like you're gonna feel it kind of drop into that hand. So when I get here, feel it drop into that hand, now I'm right there, instead of muscling it through and then try to generate your power right there. Well, I'm gonna go grab three. All right, girl, way to work today. Thank you. Are we gonna hit Thursday? Oh, uh, depends. I'll keep you, I'll put it on group me. All right, thank you. See you later, girl. Bye, I'll be here there tomorrow, so. All right, your makeup looks pretty. Thank you. Ready? Yes, right there. Feel it drop into the palm of your hand. Yes. Feel it drop into the palm of your hand. Yeah, but don't lower your hands. Don't take your hands far away from your body. Just keep them there and let it drop into the palm of your hand. Let it drop into the palm. There you go. That's better. Let it drop into the palm of your hand. Drop into the palm of your hand. Yes. You don't have to get so. There you go. Now try to swing through, doing the same thing. Drop it into the palm. There you go, that's all right. Drop into the palm of your hand. There you go, that was a good one. Drop into the palm of your hand. There you go. Now drop into the palm three and you're gonna swing through. All right? Yeah, hold in the middle the whole time. Keep your hip in. Don't be crazy in there. There you go. Drop into your palm. Good. Grab it. Drop into the palm. That's how I feel it. Just drop into that palm. Yes. You're gonna get there. You don't have to take your hands that way. Don't feel like you have to take them. I promise you'll get there faster. You're okay. When we go next year, you're gonna be facing 58 miles an hour. You pull. By the time you pull out there, ball's already gonna be past you. 58 miles an hour, 60 miles an hour by you. You don't even know. You're making it 10 times harder on yourself because the barrel's staying behind you instead of 
remember, just kind of letting it, you get your one point up here and it just swings. You're gonna be way faster. All right, here we go. Don't pull them. Just let them fall into the palm. Let it fall into the palm of your hand. Let it fall into the palm. Yes, just let it fall. You're gonna get there. Just let it fall into your palm. I feel like it don't just do it. If you miss, you miss. Who cares? You're gonna get more power. You're gonna see how much power you're gonna get. Drop into the palm. Ah! Don't go. Don't. Don't drop. You're gonna get there. You're gonna get there, okay? I'm telling you. Make a change for greatness. Make a change for greatness. That's all I ask. Don't just continue to pull. You have to make the change. Because I'm telling you, you want to play on a national team, well, 58 is going to blow by you right now. It's going to blow. You're not, or you're going to jam it up or do a little dink in, infield hit because you can't swing that barrel fast enough to the point of contact because you're trying to pull and then allow that barrel to come through. It's not happening. I don't know why you're so resistant on it. Like, just do that. Go 75% and just 50% of that is better than 100% of your pull. So maybe to slow it down to a 50% swing until you get it. Drop into that hand. There you go kind of you're jamming yourself like why are you so close to the tee set up like you're going to set up and hit get into your hip hinge like you're going to hit okay like do everything like you're going to get in there get in that hip arch that back there you go right there feel it good feel it good 50 percent yes now swing through on this next one though Step back. Stop. You're already going to pull. This has to go right there. I can already tell you're going to go down because I see your hands activate. I should never, when I go right here, it should be loose enough. Drop the barrel down. Drop the barrel down. There you go. Better. Now try to swing all the way through. Just let, let the barrel go down. Point the barrel. Up and start that. Now your hands. Yes, and then swing all the way through. No, nope, your hands moved. Your barrel never, your barrel went like this. Dump your barrel back. Dump it back. Like, dump your barrel back. Dump it down. Yes. Good. Dump it. Like, I don't, you've got to make it in your mind that you are not going to allow your barrel to stay up and your hands to pull it down. You have got to get it. I don't know. What you're, I mean, it's, it's simple to me. Like when I, when I feel it in here, you're swinging, like when you go, just boom, hard. Just take it down as hard as you can. When you get ready, just take it straight down. Just take it straight down and then let it go through. Just feel it.
Don't go, just take it down. Down. better. No wire. Right, ready? I got you. That's all. Elbow. Take your elbow in front of your hands. Elbow in front of your hands. That's all you're thinking. Elbow. Is it on? Yeah. Okay. Take your elbow in front of your hand. So this is what I want. I want this right there. I want your elbow in front of your hand. I don't want you to pull past it. Your elbows are going to outrun it. Wait, wait, I'm throwing it. Wait, wait, wait. Elbow. Alright, let's pick them up. Elbow. 